Alright, in my last video I reviewed the rest of the Ranma 1 half OVA series. Now I'm taking a look at both films. Let us start with Big Trouble in Neckenron, China from 1991. The movie begins with Haposai stealing panties and bras, as usual. Well, he is the biggest pervert next to Master Roshi. And I love how he's hanging on the number one of the title. Then, Akane chases Ranma and Haposai with a mallet, not to mention Ranma and Akane fighting. Come back, you old Ranma! You come back here! Don't they ever get tired of that constant fighting? I couldn't agree with you, Nabiki. Now, back to the chase scene. We are followed by Ryoga, Shampoo, Kuno, Moose, Ukyo, Kodachi, and the entire cast of characters from the TV series all joined in, when all of a sudden this black-looking thing with red eyes appear and started plowing through everyone, which turns out to be an elephant with a fighting spirit. Scroll what me, Koda Lucky, has been in family for generations! Hoppo Sai, because of you, Lychee! 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 Give Lychee back her childhood! That is when a giant ship came out of the clouds and we are featured the seven Lucky Gods martial artists. The leader, Kirin, who is Lychee's prince, except she does not possess the scroll now in the hands of Akane. You know what that means, do you ladies and gentle Ranma fans? Akane herself gets captured and becomes Kirin's bride. As for Kirin, he and his fellow martial artists eat nothing but rice and pickled vegetables. Well, that's their eating habits, and that Kirin tries out Akane's cooking, only he prefers pickles. Ranma and company arrive at Seven Luck Mountain where they go battle against the Seven Lucky Gods martial artists. The first, Bisha Moten, was pretty easy. He didn't put up much of a fight. The second were the twins, voiced by the Dobson brothers, Michael and Paul, were outsmarted by Ranma. The third one, Wu. Yeah, that's his name. He doesn't do anything but be friends with the elephant, and that Wu has a love for elephants. The next fight is Monlon, who is the only female and can use a loot as a deadly weapon. Now do you understand my power? Ouch! That's gotta hurt! Until Shampoo shows up and defeats her ass. Then they go fight Ebitan, Kirin's lackey. He's quite surprisingly adept in battle, and his weapon is a fishing pole. But he ends up being trampled by Ryoga and the rest, who now face Karen, only he took them down with a single blast. Sacred ceremony! You will be punished! Huh? Huh? Oh, oh no! Come on! Dad! Ranma arrives to fight him, however, Karen can block punches with his chopsticks. None of my punches are getting through! Your feeble punches cannot touch the almighty Kirin. That's pretty weird. Ranma then punches the floor by bringing out hot water and flinging some at him. That is quite some strategy got there, Sawatome. That's it! Ranma was using his Amagurikin technique to hit him with balls of hot water! I see now. It's just like trying to use chopsticks to eat the soup and ramen! Oh, that's great, Ranma! Truly incredible, so imaginative. <laughs> well, you know, Tendo, he is my son, after all. So, in the end, Kieran puts the scroll together. But what does it contain? Some ultimate fighting technique? Let's find out, shall we, ladies and gentle Ranma fans? Let's see. It's a seven lucky god ultimate technique. How to make two too delicious Fukujin pickle? <gasps> When good man and good woman are joined, make this for first step in new life together. First, groom wash vegetable. Then fry pickle vegetable with salt. Then happy couple pour soy sauce on vegetable. Oh, darling shampoo, even your voice is beautiful. Hey, Gramps, what's all this business about a threat to world peace? What's all this about a sacrifice? It's an ultimate technique, all right. An ultimate technique for making... But it turns out it was a recipe for making... Pickles! Thanks for covering me, Karen. And Hoppo Sai is blasting off again. There. I made a reference from the Pokemon anime, folks. Yeah!